Good morning Quadcopter 101 and I have another neat micro quadcopter to, for review today. This is the Ishin Fro Flying Frog Q90. Now the Flying Frog Q90 is an interesting looking quadcopter as the name goes or as its name goes it looks like a little flying frog um, designed as a frog. It comes with two different shells uh, a green shell and a white shell that you can remove and replace. Uh, these shells are removed though there's little, four little screws on the end of each one of these arms, so it's not easy access to gain or uh, to be able to remove that shell. But um, with that in mind, the quadcopter does come with a very good camera, a 1000 TVL camera, uh, 40 channel, 200 milliwatt camera. Unfortunately, to be able to change the frequencies of that camera, <laughs> you have to remove the shell. So, you know, you want to set it, set it up before you go out in the field to whatever frequency you generally use. I, I generally pick up one in the A band, A1 through 8, and I stick with that throughout all of my flights. So, you know, I got this one set to A1. Uh, this is the antenna, by the way, for your little 5.8 gigahertz transmitter that's in there, the 200 milliwatt transmitter. Um, and the uh, actual receiver antenna for control is in internal to the uh, quadcopter itself. It comes with a 450 milliamp per hour, uh, 350, Oh, I'm sorry, 350 milliamp per hour, 7.4 volt 2S battery at 30C. Now these motors here are 8520s and they are designed for 2S batteries. So these 8520s aren't, shouldn't work with uh, 3.7 volt, but they are designed for 7.4 volt uh, batteries to go with this. Uh, with that in mind though, this, with this 350 milliamp per hour, 7.4 volt battery, they are predicting flight times of eight minutes. I find that kind of hard to believe but we'll find out here in flight but again the main thing of this is this has a very nice uh, camera and it also has the power and motors to provide, to provide uh, extra long flight time so we're going to see how well that performs so let's go for a flight of the flying frog and see how it performs hope you enjoy this flight okay I forgot to mention two things on this quadcopter it does come with prop guard so if you want to fly that indoors you can do such and also that it comes in available in uh, DSM-2, Fly Sky, Free Sky, and also almost ready to fly where you provide your own receiver. Uh, but I recommend that you consider the other three that come with the receiver already installed because it's only like about $10 more. It'll save you the hassle of installing a receiver. So let's go for a flight of this. Let me set it to acro mode. Um, by the way, I set this up. Uh, it does come with an F3 Evo board. Let's go to the sky. And I got it set up for acro right now. So we're going to fly an acro. So here we go. Let's see how this thing performs. This is my first flight with it. Yaw is kind of slow, but that's okay. Going downstream, getting a feel for it. We do have a bit of a wind today. So let's go up through the trees though, see how, well, let's, let's stay on the field first. Let me get a feel for this first. Coming through slowly. I was just flying uh, my QX105, which is an entirely different bird than this. Okay, if you provide a lot of yaw, it, it kicks in kind of quickly, so this might need a little bit of fine tuning, but it feels interesting to fly. Let's come down between the trees and see how it goes between the trees. Going down and around. Okay, I'm gonna go over the trees here. Until I get a better feel for this quadcopter. But yeah, it's an interesting little thing. If you like one that looks like a frog, let's go around. Okay, I'm not going to go fast with this yet because I still get the feel for it. And uh, okay. The big thing about it again is supposedly the uh, eight minutes flight time. We're going to see if that's true. Yeah. And the stock settings on this again are kind of sluggish. Until you, they take a while, especially the yaw. Okay, let's try it that way. Coming down again. It's coming in close to show you it. I'm going to try to come by nice and slow. Show it to you in flight. Again, let's go through around the trees. You know, the way this is flying out of the box, it feels more like it's an indoor flyer. You know, it's it's meant for indoor flying, especially its acro settings. They're very um, 
forgiving. And it's telling me right now, see the way I'm going through these trees? That yeah, this they want you to fly this indoors mainly. <laughs> Outdoors, you're gonna need to tweak the uh, acro settings. But yeah, it's nice and sluggish. <laughs> Perfect for flying around indoors, I guess. You're going from room to room. This will do it. But as for uh, high speed flying, uh, not with the stock settings. You're going to need to, to adjust those stock settings. I got a feeling it can provide a lot of high speed flight though if you adjust those settings. You know, I, I up, up or increase the expos on them. But uh, let's see if I can go between those two trees there. And I'm doing this in acro, so yeah. And there's a wind. There's a wind today, by the way. I forgot to mention that. It's about uh, five mile per hour. Nice and steady though. So. So yeah, this is uh, meant to be a room flyer, and you can do it such an acro. Um, I can switch, this does have, I forgot to mention, this does have angle mode, does have horizon, it comes with beta flight installed, actually. So uh, you got all the options that beta flight provide. Even uh, air mode, if you wish. But again, this is not set up for right now for high speed fly. I'm going to try it. Let me go down to the end of the field here. Turn it about. And give it the gun. <laughs> Very different bird as compared to the QX105, which I was just flying. <laughs> yeah, this, this one's meant for flying around your rooms. Indoor flying, I guess. I'm guessing the way it is. See if I can go through here in acro. Yeah, there we go. Go around this tree here. Pretending I'm going room to room in the house. Yep, indoor flyer <laughs> with the stock settings. There's a bug on my hand. Wait a minute, folks. I had to get rid of that bug. <laughs> it's just uh, actually, I guess this would be a good beginner's uh, indoor flyer. Again, I did mention this does come with uh, prop guards on it. If you want to fly around indoors and bump into objects, uh, I just don't like prop guards. I think they uh, decrease flight performance. So this is again the QX90. It is a long flyer. I'll give you that. We're over the usual flight time you get with indoor. Uh, uh, micro quad copters are around three to four minutes. This one's going a long, good long time. So yeah, that's its big feature. Long flight time. Flying early in the morning, yet there's still wind here. I haven't been able to fly for close to a week, folks. It's been so windy here and rainy, and rainy too. I had to do an indoor video the other day. <laughs> I get edgy when I can't fly. I just don't like to not fly. I like to fly every day. And when, when I can't fly, I usually end up flying a uh, simulator program <laughs> indoors. It's not the same thing as actually flying for real, you know, it just doesn't have the same feel to it. Just let the wind blow as fast as Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the flag frog. Again, you know, its stock settings are kind of uh, slow, sluggish, meant for indoor flying, as you might guess. As others get this, I'm sure the others are going to play with those settings to make them uh, more zippy. Because I got a feeling this could be a similar flyer to the uh, QX105. It does have good motors on it, 8520s. They're reasonably good and it should have the power to provide it, you know, with that uh, 2S battery and 2S motors to give you a good speed. I'm going to have to play with the I'm setting myself here on this. So, 
And the camera, the camera is a thousand TVL camera. It's got good color, but I'm, I'm seeing color fringe. Okay, we're getting a little bit weak here. Okay, that's about it, folks. We're calling it quits there. So that's its flight time. I don't know how long that was, but that was good flight time. Let me stop this recording on my goggles here using my Ishin uh, VR goggles with recording capability. So I'll take that on. So that was the first flight of the Flying Frog Q90. Oh no, yeah, I guess this would be a good indoor flyer. Especially if you put on the prop guards. Prop guards go right here. You got to remove the uh, each one of these uh, propellers to be able to put those prop guards on. They just slide over the top of the motor. But um, yeah, this this does come with prop guards. It would be a good indoor flyer. Let me unplug it here, and that's about it, folks. QR90, 1000 TVO camera, long flight time, powerful motors and powerful battery. So hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out.